There's a man living in my refrigerator. I'm not sure how he got there. He just showed up one day, seemingly out of nowhere. It was two weeks ago that he first made an appearance. The day wasn't in any way significant. It was just like any other day. I got out up, took a shower, watched the morning show, and got a bite to eat. I opened the refrigerator door to the familiar cool breeze, the one that I felt every day, and that was the first time I saw him. I opened the door and there he was. He was sitting in a chair behind the shelves. How he fit in there I do not know, but with the shock of him being in there flooding over me, I didn't even care really. He was around 5'11 and weighed roughly 150 pounds. His hair was mad and looked as though he had just gone up from a long sleep. His eyes were very light brown and had a very demanding presence to them. He wore brown, snazzy looking sweater and some slightly wrinkled khakis, which just added to his slightly dirty look. He slouched slightly and stared straight ahead, looking right into my eyes. The stare reminded me of the stare of predator such as a lion gives its prey right before it attacks, making him a very intimidating sight to behold. The demanding stare gave me a feeling that he had complete power over me, and could perhaps read my every thought. He had somehow gone into my refrigerator. Who's to say that he couldn't read minds? Of all people I'd ever encountered in my life, he would be the one that I would most expect of mind reading capabilities. You better face this head on, I thought to myself, trying to build up the courage to confront this strange and slightly frightening man. Instead of reopening the door, however, and facing the man, I carried all my daily morning rituals, as if it were just another Monday. I put off the strange occurrence and found myself trying to throw away the thought of the refrigerator man, as if it was as simple as an expired dairy product. When I came home that Monday, I didn't acknowledge the refrigerator at all. Instead, I ordered pizza and watched TV. I watched my normal programming and went to bed around 11, just like any other day. I ignored the man so much that I forgot he was there at all, and that's what brought me to the moment in which I first met the stranger in my refrigerator. Tears are filling up their glasses.